Hey everybody, this is Chuck Marone with Strong Towns. I'm in Celebration, Florida, a new Rennes community outside of Orlando. And I wanna talk a little bit today about walkability. You know, my friend Jeff Speck wrote a book, Walkable City, and he goes through different items of what it means to be walkable. Jeff, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. I know the walk needs to be useful, needs to be pleasant, needs to be safe. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of things. It's genius work, go read his book. I want to talk about one aspect of it, and this is an aspect that I learned from Jeff, I learned from Andres Duane, I learned from the new urbanists, and it has to do with framing. What gives something, and I'm, I'm, I am quoting Andres here, this is not things that I came up with, this is things I learned from some of the best designers in the country. What gives something a sense of place? A room has a sense of place. You are in a place when you are in a room. And you are in a place because that place has walls. The room is bounded and it actually creates a space where you can identify like I am in a place. When we say a city has a sense of place, oftentimes we're talking about a, a feel that we have or nostalgia that we have or experience that we can relate to in a place but you can actually build a physical sense of place in a place by design. You do that by giving it walls, the same way as you do in a room. Now I'm walking down, I think this is Mulberry Street in Celebration. This is a little side street here, um, one of my favorite streets. Um, the buildings along here are spaced at such a distance, such a width across from each other, that it creates walls on both sides of the street. There's not big gaps here. There's not large stretches you have to go through without. The walls, in a sense, uh, the, the buildings, in a sense, bound the street and create walls the same way a room creates walls. It gives it a sense of place. When you are walking through here, you feel like you are someplace. Now, if you've ever been to like a Walmart parking lot, does a Walmart parking lot have a sense of place? No. It's unbounded, right? There might be a wall where the Walmart is, but on the other side, there's nothing. There's just, it's unbounded. There's just parking lot. There might be another big box store way over there, but it's unbounded. So it doesn't feel like you're in a place. When you walk through there, it's a little um, disorienting, right? You feel a little naked and vulnerable. There's a thing uh, that biologists call thigmataxis. I hope I said that right. It's Greek. I probably said it wrong. The idea is that uh, creatures will tend to hug the edge as opposed to move out in the middle. Think of a mouse scattering across a room. Think of a deer on the edge of a field. They actually have studied this scientifically. If you put microbes in a Petri dish, they'll move around randomly. But if you put a metal bar in the middle of the dish, they'll line up along the edge of a bar. Humans in our brain stem, because we are evolved the same way other creatures are, we have the same kind of inner sense in your brainstem. There's something telling you that you feel more secure when your walk is bounded on one side by a wall. Just imagine feeling vulnerable, right? Like if I, if I am in a place where I feel vulnerable, if I can put my back to the wall, if I know like this is a solid thing behind me or this is something, you know, there, um, it, it, it makes me feel more secure. So when we create a room out of the street, it creates for most humans a natural sense of security. Your blood pressure goes down, you feel calm, you feel uh, more pleasant. Like it, it just, it's a better environment to be in because of the way our brainstem operates. It's, it's no more magical than that. Obviously, the genius of the new urbanists is the design. I mean, they have taken all these steps to study what great design is. But the great design is often reduced to this aesthetic component. Wow, they build beautiful places, but Chuck, that's your aesthetic, it's not mine. There's actually a lot of science at work here. Um, when we understand what it means to feel comfortable in a place, creating that sense of place, bounding the place with, in a sense, walls on each side, uh, not unbounded, uh, creates this kind of really strong emotion within us 
that we might not even recognize, but makes us prefer this kind of place over others.